when I try to run Flutter code on iPhone or Android phone, so it is working fine. All the images are loading properly. There is no delay. But when I will run the Flutter code for web means on desktop web browser, so the code is working, but I am not getting images. There is a blank image and it will show the image is not loading. So let's move to the Android Studio and I am going to run the Flutter code on iPhone and then I will try to run the same code for the web as well. And I will show you how you can fix it. So fix is very simple. As you can see, it is very simple app and all the images are loading properly. Now I want to run this code on web. So this is a Chrome browser and now I am going to run it. So as you can see, this is just a login screen. Now, there you can see I am on home page in this page. It is for the web view and this is iPhone view. So you can see the images are not loading there. All are the blank images. I am getting the product name, product price, all these details, but I am not getting the images. You can see the image code exception fail to load network image. So why it is happening in web only? The reason is very simple. When we work on Android or iPhone, so we are using the mobile browser. It will use HTML render. And when we will use desktop browser, it will use canvas kit render. Okay. Now there is a new update. We need to use HTML render only for desktop browser as well. So that's why we are getting this error. So what is this rendering? Basically, there is one mechanism known as CORS. So CORS is a mechanism that browser use to control how one site access the resource of other site. So as you can see, I am getting the images from server using API call. So this is a different domain right now because right now I am running this code on localhost. So localhost is different from the particular domain name. So what this CORS do, it do not allow one website to make HTTP request to another site using XHR or you can say the fetch, fetch some images, pictures or canvas. So to resolve this issue, we have two solutions. First is using the command prompt or second is just update one parameter on Android Studio. Before moving ahead, if you like this type of content, you want to know more about the app development, website development, digital marketing. So do subscribe to my channel. So you will get update about the new videos as well. And if you like this video, click on the like button. So I will know that you like my content. And if you have any question, any doubts about the app development, website development, please comment below. I will try to make the videos or I will instantly give you the reply on WhatsApp. So my contact number are available in the description as well. So please subscribe it. Now how we can resolve this issue. So as I told you, we need to use HTML render. The concept is pretty simple. Just open Android Studio. First, I am going to stop all these things. As I told you, there is two different ways that you can resolve this issue. First is using the command prompt. Right now I am running this flutter code using this run button. So first I will tell you the command prompt solution, how you can run this code. So from the command prompt, just type flutter run. The flutter run is normal run to run the flutter code. There we need to use D, D for debug because we are right now in debug mode. If we will move to the production mode, so I will let you know what command you can use for debug mode and use the Chrome browser and it will be web dash render space HTML. Okay, that's it and hit. It will take some time to launch the project. Then we can see all the image are loading properly because of this web render HTML command. Okay, so now you can see the images are loading properly. 
so this is very simple solution and another way to resolve this problem is add one setting in your android studio just go to the run and there we need to update edit configuration so we are updating run configuration actually and there we will add additional argument so in additional argument we need to type again double dash web dash render space html and click ok first i am going to close this one and try to run the flutter web app using this run button these are some small tricks that you can do and if you don't know about this thing so it will take you a lot of time i will try to make the videos on these small problems that you will face during the app development and i will very happy to make this kind of videos and you can contact me in whatsapp if you have any other doubts so now again you can see it is working fine So now it will look same as the app as well. So this is very simple solution for this problem and if you like this video so please subscribe to me and click on the like button as well and if you want to know how you can develop the flutter app so you can join my course flutter app development course is available link is also available in the description. So you can see the free videos and if you like you can join the flutter course as well. So I hope you will comment below about your problems or what you think about these videos. So see you in the next video.